So the day that I went to go look at this car and buy the car, both in the same day, I knew that I wanted to paint the car because who wants a pink Acura Integra? After almost three years today, today is the day the pink Acura Integra will no longer be pink, Project Pepto. It might still be called Project Pepto because how are you gonna change the name? But either way, man, today's the video. Pink is no longer and I cannot wait. And now, you're watching a vital part in preparing for hurricane season is getting vaccinated now. What? Channel of YouTube, welcome to Bodie Vision. Man, so what is up and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on yet another video. I am really excited for this one. So this car, we are just going to get right into it. This video is gonna be cool, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of shots of where I just set up the camera and do my thing. So my thing is, the first thing that we are going to do we are going to do a white sealer over the entire car. That white sealer is just gonna seal in everything and also give me a nice, white, consistent foundation. That's the steps that I did with everything else, the engine bay, all the jams and everything. And that's why there's this kind of spill out onto the body. This is all from the jams. Everything's been done with 600. It's nice, smooth, uniform, consistent surface. Once that white goes on, it's gonna be a nice and consistent color. And then we'll go into that base coat. down we were looking pretty good to go right into base coat now as we're going with the sealer if any kinds of little bugs or dust nibs hit the panel you can just go ahead and take some 600 wipe them right off right away this will be dry within minutes after you spray it if you're mixing and doing everything that you should be doing correctly so let's go ahead and get into that base coat so this base coat the color is actually called bikini blue and it's from a 2019 2020 jeep so since i paint cars as i'm driving around constantly well, not constantly, but pretty often I'm looking at other vehicles and kind of seeing what color I like, how it looks, and I try to imagine what that would look like on any of my vehicles that I'm painting. And this color caught my eye. Every, th every time I see a 2019 or 2020 Jeep that's bikini blue, I think it's a really good color. So I just decided to go with that color for this vehicle. Now, I know there's some purists out there that think you should only paint a car OEM colors, but I don't care. I'm doing a full color change and I'm doing it how I want. So now that the base coat is looking good, we are ready to move on to clear. Now one thing that you have to do with your base coat is you have to check it and make sure it passes your inspection, so to say, before you go on to your clear coat. So I ended up doing three coats of base. Normally I do two, but a color like this required three. On that last coat, I over reduced it by maybe 10 or 20%, I just feel a little bit more reduced, or not an exact science, I just wanted that last coat to be a little bit thinner, so that way those metallics would lay out a lot more smoother. Now how you check your base coat before you move on to your clear coat, is if you turn off your lights, and go ahead and grab a sun light, or sun gun, just like this, this is by Astro, relatively cheap, 
and expensive. So if you turn off all the lights in your booth or your garage or anywhere that you're painting and only use that sun gun, that's where you're really gonna see if you have full coverage or not. See, after my second coat, I thought I was good, and then I went ahead and I checked my work, and that is why we check our work, because after the second coat, I still had a little bit of stripes, a little bit of inconsistencies. That's when I did my third coat over reduced just to lay out all those metallics, just like I was saying, and everything looks really good. So check your work before you move on to clear, because you don't wanna see an issue after the clear is on, because at that point, then you're gonna have to go backwards and redo some stuff. And if you do have to redo some stuff, that's fine, it happens to all of us. <laughs> so as you can tell the car is looking really good now what I like to do as soon as I'm done laying out that clear coat I like to take my paint suit off kind of relax grab a drink clean out my gun give myself about an hour And then I like to go back to the car and start pulling off all of the tape I've found that if I wait a day or two or three or if I just wait too long as you're pulling off that tape You run the risk of pulling some paint with it now that could be because of poor prep work It's happened to me before but every paint job I'm trying to improve my procedure trying to improve my prep work and trying to improve what I do to make sure that I don't have any issues. This is what I'm doing in this process. This is what's working for me. Do whatever's going to work for you. Seeing the color come together with the wheels put on the car just looks so good, man. So what I'm thinking, since I haven't uploaded in so long and I've been really busy doing other stuff, what I'm thinking is I'm just going to call this video off right here and the next video we're going to get to the bumpers, we're going to get to the final assembly of the car. Hopefully that video is real soon. I'm sorry that I've been... I don't know if you guys can tell, but love bugs, love bugs in Florida right now is love bug season 
they are just everywhere either way in the next video i hope for it to be uploaded in the next week or so that way it's just back to back planning on getting a lot more consistent at the house once i get the shop built i'm definitely going to be able to be in the shop working a lot more i have a whole bunch of projects coming up ls swap 1988 honda accord is what i'm going to be doing next full paint job wide body everything the whole nine yards that's what i'm planning on first vehicle at the shop we've got some problems with it as well but either way we got to finish the integra then we're going to get back on the accord and we're going to get back on the channel so i appreciate you watching thank you guys so much for watching like this video comment subscribe do all the stuff if you know what it is, YouTube, these love bugs are killing me. I'm out.